All right, guys, Tuesday before Thanksgiving, bringing big energy, big black sheep updates, and big spin the bonus wheel time. We are giving away the Lot Lizard 99 F450 airbags, transfer tank, Gen Y hitch, 08 Harley Davidson front end swapped on some 24s. 07. 07? 08 changes the body style. Damn. You were you were close. I don't know my you were real shit. close. Does that mean I shouldn't spin? No, you should definitely. I spin. should spin. Yeah. Which yeah. way are you feeling? This way or that way? Uh, guys, that way. That way. That let, her, let her rip. Let her rip. All right, guys. Whatever this lands on all day today, you get the multiplier. Second time spinning it. Winston spun it the first time. The price is right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Big. Big. Uh Oh, 15, 15 times, times entries. entries. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> 15 times. You almost got the six it, times. You almost got the six times. 15 time. times entries all day today. Go to ellisonasty.com to get entered to win. We got a bunch of merchandise up there. We got the Lot Lizard shirts available. It's getting cold, so get you some winter caps because you got to keep your ears warm. The winter caps. I don't call them beanies or toboggans. They're winter caps. Uh, go to ellisonasty.com. We got hoodies, shirts, socks, stickers, key tags. And today and today only, every dollar you spend will get you 15 times entries to win. that time of the year we're doing our toys for tots toy drive please send your toys here ellis nasty addresses in the description below we also have a cars and coffee toy drive on december 4th at the southern vines we'll be taking all our toys over there we'll have a big car show burnout contest we're paying thousand dollars to the winner of the burnout contest which i'm then going to force them to donate it to the toys for tots if not we're going to fight in the parking lot over at the Southern Vines, December 4th, 9 a.m. You're not going to want to miss it. If you're in the area, if you're not in the area, wake up early, drive down, come hang out. We'll have food. It'll be amazing cars, a uh, great group of people. And all we ask is that you bring some toys. You guys have been sending toys here to the dress. We have a whole other box all filled up. We got ourselves a new box here. And we're giving away the toys. So please, if you guys go on Amazon, go wherever, Walmart, you can ship them right to us here at the shop address. We want to make sure all the kids have toys to play with this year. Mark the calendars, December 4th. 
Southern Vines, LS Nasty, second annual Toys for Tots Burnout Contest. Sorry, I didn't see you there. I was just uh, talking with the black sheep here. Is that weird? Uh, it's the end of season pep talk. Yeah, getting ready for next season. Prepping, prepping for next season. Big season next season. Uh, we haven't talked about the black sheep in a while. We have the engine and everything back from TKM Performance, and it is ready to be assembled. We're waiting on our last little pieces, which they have arrived. So we're going to head back home for the, well, at least I am. All the other guys will be around here doing everything. Uh, I'm going to Pennsylvania for the Thanksgiving holidays. And when we get back, we are going to thrash on this, on the Bad Apple, and Slick Rick. Slick Rick's got to get ready for PRI. we got to stick a motor in this and uh, get ready for the upcoming racing season. We do a lot of our testing in the off-season, so we'll be going to Florida, uh, Bradenton, Orlando, uh, SGMP, the warmer tracks throughout the winter to get our test on. And uh, we want to talk a little bit about the Black Sheep. For those of you guys that don't know what the Black Sheep is, this is our... <laughs> where have you been? Yeah, first of all, where have you been? <laughs> Uh, this is our 87. Uh, it's a true Grand National, so a lot of people get pissed off at that. Uh, small block, LS, cast block, cast head, single turbo, uh, LDR legal. We ended up going 412, seven hydraulic roller LS record in LDR trim at one of the LDR races last year. And they've made some rules changes. They've made some updates. Uh, we have taken the motor out and freshened it up. Really same combo. Uh, we still got the black sheep camshaft in there. We got it on some solid uh lifters right now so we don't know uh how much more we're going to pick up but we are anticipating some horsepower to be picked up uh working with force inductions on getting a newer more badass er 94 millimeter turbo and uh we're going to run ldr with it some changes let's go back here we'll talk about the uh the ass of the car so we run a 275 radial pro as you can see, this is the car at ride height. It's up on Projax. It tucks the tire quite well. This is a 28 inch tall tire. Uh, the class allows you to run a 295 tire. So it's not a radial pro, it's a Mickey Thompson ET Street R. So it doesn't have tread on it, but it's got like some like lines in it, but it is essentially a 30 inch tall tire. That's like another inch and a half wider. Everyone in the class has always run it. When we went, ran down at, where do we run? We run, ran at Bradenton, then we ran at Georgia. Georgia. Um, we were one of two cars on the radial. Everyone else is on the ET Street R. The ET Street R is a, I guess it's got to be a faster tire or else these guys wouldn't be running it. Yeah. We were like middle of the pack going 412, 416, like we qualify out of like 32 cars. We're like 16, 14 in that. In that. John Doc. Right inside the Black Sheep number 23 qualifier, 420 with 8, 176. The TKM Motion Raceworks Turbo Hot Rod and Mike Freeman left hand side number 33 qualifier, 461 5. Outside looking in is Freeman. Let's see if Doc can make it down. Off the starting line, 110 to 60. Bob Bob Black Sheep, 416 3 in the heat. We'll improve a couple numbers. Range, so it's not bad, but Doc from Irwin, North Carolina, 1987 Grand National. TKM performance. QA1 on this race car for TKM. Kevin Mullins. That was big horsepower there. And Scott Houston out of Newport, Richie, Florida, the 1993 Mustang. Fast forward racing in Motion Raceworks. Spencer. Marty Bellarat, Fuel Tech. John Dock goes 4.12.9 at 176.03. Very, very nice run there for Dock. Moves him into that number two position. 4.12.9 and the speed is there as well at 176.03. Actually moves into number three, a thou behind Gargas. So you go 4.10.8 for Martin. 4.12.8 and then 4.12.9 for John Dock. Very nice runs. It's not where you really want to be when it comes crunch time because you're going up there in eliminations, first round, heat of the day. You got to get after it. A lot of these guys during qualifying will, will hold some numbers in the bag. Um, the, the top five guys are like 
398, 395, 401, 402. So that's a pretty big gap if you think about it. Um, everyone's pretty sharp on the tree, so you're not making up 10 numbers on the tree unless you really drill them. It, it's possible, but you can't rely on that. So we're gonna make the switch over to the taller tire, the bigger tire. Hopefully that nets us to go a little bit faster. We can be a little bit more aggressive in the heat of the day and we can hopefully improve our times. The downside to that is we're not gonna be able to run in any of the local shootouts on that tire. It's kind of like a win and lose. Like we might be able to go a little bit faster in LDR trim. Are we still extremely competitive? This car's been a little bit heavier. Putting that other tire on there gets us closer to like our minimum weight uh, because, well, I don't even know if it does. I think they just outlawed this tire. It used to, you could add 50 pounds. Um, I don't know. We're not extremely, extremely competitive in there. The, the, really, the, the stars would have to align for us to get like a big win in that class, which it's drag racing, it does. But I think it'll allow us to be a little bit more competitive. The downside is, like I said, we're not gonna be able to run some of these classes. Uh, local around here, the 28th. We got, uh, yeah, we got yeah, Slick Rick. Else we here. might be able to fill, you know, <laughs> Slick Rick in there. Uh, but one thing I did want to show you guys, you guys come down here underneath the car. So obviously, if we put a bigger tire on it, I'm looking around for spiders right now. I think we're good. Uh, if we put a bigger tire on it, we still have room up here. We still have a bunch of clearance up there as far as ride height goes. We still have a little bit of shaft showing, which is perfect because you can essentially run these bottomed out. One thing that we don't have is anti-roll bar clearance. As you can see, the anti-roll bar, the nut on the, sorry, the bolt, the head of the bolt is actually hitting the chassis. You can see over there, it's doing the same thing. You have to have the anti-roll bar at that upwards angle in order to have it not bind or go parallel or go flat because then it will flip around the other way so we are stuck at this ride height now the downside is we can't lower it anymore when we put the bigger tire on it which will increase our ride height potentially change like our bar angle the amount of rake that's on it everything like that well actually our bar angle will stay the same but it's going to shove the nose of the car down a little bit so the plan is we're going to try it on that tire and see but we're kind of limited with adjustment also note the chains on the rear end We've been running this whole time with chains, like rear limiters on it, which is not ideal, but it seems to be working, so we don't really mess with it. We're limiting our seven and a half inches of extension to five and a half. So we're, we're leaving two inches on the table. Hey, two inches go a long way. <laughs> All right, so other than that, for the black sheep, just some like minor updates. Um, like I said, if we change the turbo, it'll still stay 98, but it'll be a little bit different of a 98 We've got some new bags for the parachutes uh, just like some little odds and end things that we're improving we're fixing the brake master cylinder had a slight issue with that we're installing a race tech seat other than that haven't really dove into trying to i don't know there's no point to try to make this thing any lighter it just it's got stock floors as you can see it's got headliner in it front ends heavy glass quarters We're just kind of, you get to a point with a car like this where you're like, hey, I'm going to try to make it a whole lot lighter and you're going to spend, I don't know, ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 to make it lighter where it's like, you spend that and it's like a hundred pounds lighter where really if you wanted to make it like very light, you got to start building a light car. You can't have a heavy car and then try to make it lighter. It's much more difficult doing it that way. There are some things that we could do to drop a little bit of weight here, a little bit of weight there, but this car with me in it weighs 2730. Um... If we can get it down to 2700 even or 20, 2680, I think that would be better. I mean, when you're running these classes, everything's so close. Every li little bit counts. I mean, if you think about it, look at the, the doors are, they're pretty light doors. It's got a carbon insert. That's like tin, I think. That's no, carbon. It's got a carbon insert, which weighs nothing. The other door is just hollow. It's pretty lightweight, but the car itself is not built to be a lightweight car it's got frame rail all the way to the back everything is tied into that frame rail so you can't cut it out and for those of you people that are saying that it's like oh it's a pro mod i mean look at this stock style front suspension here's the frame the frame runs all the way back to the four link and it's got factory firewall in it so that's pretty uh pretty much a basic rundown of what all we got going on 
we got just like some some minor repair stuff that the engine's out we're gonna swap out a couple apex joints put a little stabilizer on the steering rack there switch everything on the turbo kit over to turbo smart uh, we've had some failures with some of the other brands diaphragm blowing out or the piston style giving us false readings so we've had great success with all the turbo smart waste gates and blow off valves and that's what we're we've run them on a bunch of other cars this car was kind of already assembled had everything so we haven't put it on there so we're going to get all that stuff updated just kind of go over everything nut and bolt it front to back the changes that we made last year seemed to work well we swapped over to the two inch drop spindles tbm brakes uh rc comp wheels so we lightened up the wheels front and back i got a new converter to try out see if we can pick up some numbers there and then other than that uh old trusty girl will be back and we'll be rocking and rolling holly efi msd 600 egt's on there it's pretty pretty standard basic uh, methanol single turbo configuration stock suspension front and rear car seems to work well so we're going to keep running it until she don't want to run no more so i've had a couple people ask me if i'm selling it because i've been we were trying to sell the pro mod sold the colorado we got some motors for sale i got a 632 for sale they're like hey would you sell the black sheep and i'm just like the black sheep just works so well it's a very competitive car if you were to run this solely into small tire shootouts it would be a very difficult car to beat i'm not selling it there's the answer i'm not selling it so should i title this video i'm selling the black sheep people will just be like oh god it'd be like a mutiny yeah if, you're gonna regret that later if i post all the, it all the messages you get you're gonna regret that yeah i got burned at the stake for selling the colorado but am i not more chipper now that the colorado's gone it's just yeah. like a weight lifted off my shoulders now we only have to focus on one <laughs> instead of two you know like it's it's yeah. great it's perfect so yeah i mean we still have a turbo ls color yeah turbo ls colorado, colorado. colorado. same, same yeah, thing so that's gonna wrap today's video quick update i promise you once we get back from thanksgiving we'll be in here working on stuff getting stuff knocked out heading to pri and testing uh we're gonna be throwing cars together red lobster's going together black sheep's going together that sucker's going together and then we're left with the bad apple this colorado and the glizzard to get wrapped up and uh, we'll do some work on the side with the Stormworks stuff. So if you guys are interested in Stormworks, send me an email, john.recovery at gmail.com. Go to ellisnassi.com to get entered to win the Colorado. It is 15 times entries. Toys for Tots, send us your toys. December 4th, Southern Vine, which is right across the street. Burnout contest, toy drive, car show, food. Don't want to miss it. That's going to wrap up today's video. Black Sheep update's done. I'm leaving the cover off it because when I get back, I'm sticking the motor in this guy. Shoo.